A friend of ours just stopped by. She traded us a ham for some work on a sweater and a hat. Janelle just has to fix a hat and then the ham is ours. Woohoo! Hurdles have sold, yeah. finally. Art's got to rip them all apart. Takes a while. And then we have to wrap them and then ship them. But they are out of the basement and onto a new owner. In Illinois. Well, these certainly aren't the easiest things to pack. But it's got to get done. We're doing our family Christmas card picture. Peter, just stop. So we're trying to get it set up. Because I'm not going to have Daddy come running over. Mm -hmm. All right, Daddy, I need you to just stand between John and Charity for a minute. Okay. We did it, and it wasn't even that bad. It only took two tries. Lydia has a newfound love of photography. See, she has her camera right there. And she just folded her pajamas, and she got a picture of her pajamas. Right? And now she's going to put them away. There you go. We got 30 pounds of pecans for about 335 a pound, and we can't really use 30 pounds, so we are we are putting them into bags and we are selling them to some friends who are sharing in the bounty. And yeah. Peter's eating a few. Yummy. John's eating a few. Today I'm starting the process of making some gingerbread men and this has been a family tradition since I was a kid and my mom has this recipe that we always use because it yields that soft chewy gingerbread man and not that crunchy one and so this Christmas I am going to be making those with my kids and the process takes a little while because you have to chill the dough, so you have to plan ahead. And I don't know if I'll have the energy to do it tonight, but maybe tomorrow, maybe in the next couple days, I will uh, have the ambition to have the kids help me roll out these cookies. But I'll show you how it's done. I start out with a saucepan, adding one cup of molasses, a cup of butter, and a cup of light brown sugar. And I'm just going to... Um, heat this up until everything is melted and combined and then I'm going to cool it down and add the rest of my ingredients to it. When I got married my mom gave me the recipe for the gingerbread men recipe and she included in there a picture of me when I was a kid making these gingerbread men. Here's another picture that she put in my um, recipe book. I don't think I was any more than five or six years old and that's my brother but we really put a lot of time and effort into making those gingerbread men look really nice. The butter's finished melting and I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit before I start adding the rest of my ingredients because the next step is adding eggs and I don't want to cook my eggs. I just want to add them to the batter. My batter is cool enough now so I can add the rest of my ingredients which are some eggs, cloves, cinnamon, some ginger, some baking soda, salt, and some flour. I added everything to my bowl and now I'm just going to mix it up until it's all combined and there's no flour visible or anything. The dough's all mixed but now it has to chill. So I put it on some plastic wrap and I'm going to finish wrapping this up and putting it in the refrigerator and it's got to chill for a while. So we'll see if it's ready for um, rolling after dinner. We just noticed that our kids are about one head uh, taller than each other. So, <laughs> Janelle got a picture on her iPad, and uh, oh, the kids want to see it. Look at that one of Mary. Okay. Where is and it? there's the picture. There's one more, or a uh, couple more. Now the kids are trying to do it again. Let's see. There, there we go, all in a row. Mama, mommy, we gotta go on Mary's right now. We're having some pregnancy food for dinner. Janelle whipped up some. What's that? Steak Mongolian strips. Beef. Okay, Mongolian beef and, and this is chow mein. Chow mein with the uh, cabbage that was in our refrigerator a little too long. It got finally got used up. 